Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at retargeting in Unreal Engine 5. I have purchased some animation packs from the marketplace and we're going to look at how to retarget these animations onto the mannequins and custom characters that we may have. Get started with this. The first thing we need is to create an IK rig object. So I'm going to go to rigs folder animation and I will create an IK rig. Then I can select the Manny89 uh, mesh skeletal mesh that we rigged in Blender and imported in the previous video. There will be a link in the description on how to do that. And then I can just call this Manny89 IK rig. Now I can open this. I will right click on the pelvis and set retarget root on the pelvis. Then we can add a new full body IK solver to it. I'm going to select the full body IK solver so it's highlighted. This is kind of important. Then I will right click on the pelvis again and set root bone on selected solver. Then I will find the hand on the left side, right click on this and set a new IK goal. Because we highlighted this full body IK solver, it automatically connects everything. And then we can do the same thing for the hand on the right side, right click on it, set new IK goal, it gets automatically connected. Then we will find the foot on the left side, but instead of the foot bone, we're going to right click on ball underscore L and set new IK goal. And then we will select this IK goal, do F2, and then just rename this to be the foot instead. And similarly on the right side, we will again set ball on the right, then a new IK goal, select this goal, F2, and then just rename this to be the foot right goal. All right, now I'm going to select IK retargeting panel here and take this to the top. We will now add some chains to this IK rig. So pelvis is the retarget root, so it gets ignored. We can just skip this. So we will select spine one and all the way to spine five. Now, if this was the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin, you would go from spine one to spine three, as we will see later in this video, because we're going to build an IK rig for one of those two. So I'm just going to right click on this and uh, do new retarget chain from selected bones. And I'm just going to click OK. In the same way, we will set a chain on the neck bone. So I'm going to select these three bones, new retarget chain, click OK. The clavicle is a chain of just one bone on its own. So right click on that, click OK. The, uh, the arm is three bones from upper arm to hand, new retarget chain, click OK. The metacarpal, just like the clavicle, is a chain of just one bone. So I'm just going to create a chain of one bone over there for the fingers. Uh, they are all the chains of three bones, so new retarget chain. Again, uh, the metacarpal is a chain of just one, and the fingers are just kind of repeat themselves at this point. So there will be four metacarpal bones, because the thumb doesn't have one, and all of the fingers are going to be uh, three bones each in, in all of the finger chains. So we got to the thumb, uh, no metacarpal here, new retarget chain, and these uh, twist bones are all one single chain bone. So just a new chain for all of these twist bones. And then we are done on the left side for the hand, for the arm. And the same thing repeats itself on the right side. So I'm going to pause the video and complete the right arm. And then we can continue with the rest of this uh, hierarchy. Okay, so we finished on the right side for the right arm. And now we can look at the left thigh. The left and right legs are just going to be one large chain. So thigh, calf, foot, ball, just select everything. Right click on this new retarget chain and then click OK. Uh, again, these twist bones can all be uh, single bone chains on by themselves. So I'm just going to add those now. And the same thing on the right side. The right leg is just one four bone chain like that. And then these uh, thigh bones can be single bone chains by themselves. Just like that, uh, you can add chains for the for all of the IK foot root, IK hand roots, the center of mass and interaction, but do not forget about adding a chain for the root. So the pelvis for the retarget root, we added chains for everything below this. So we also want to add chain for everything above it. So this is going to be a, a new retarget chain of a single bone root by itself. 
and this is going to enable root motion in our animations. These bones at the bottom are all single chain bones, so you can create one chain for each of these bones if you want to, but they're not that important, so I'm just going to skip them. Now what we want to do is go up here. I want to make sure that this full body IK is highlighted. Okay, that's important. So just highlight this and then I will start right clicking on these spine bones and I will add settings to selected bone. Uh, similarly, add settings to all of these spine bones, just like that. And I want to add settings to the clavicle bone as well and to the lower arm on the left side. The upper arm doesn't really uh, need one. We will see why we're doing that just in a moment, but same thing on the right side, the clavicle needs settings and the lower arm needs settings. And then uh, further down here, both the thigh and the calf bones are going to need settings. So again, just make sure this uh, full body IK is highlighted. Right click on this, add settings and add settings to the calf. On the other side, the right side, add settings to the thigh and add settings to the calf. Now to see what this is about, uh, before we get down to the settings, we I just want to expand this, and bring this up. And now if you look over here in upper arm from upper arm to hand, for this chain, we want to set the target, the IK goal to be hand left. Uh, similarly, if we can find the hand, the right arm, so that would be upper arm to right hand. This is the right hand goal. And we want to set the goal on the left leg to be foot L and on the right leg to be foot right. If I select this left hand goal, I can switch the gizmo for movement and rotation with W and E keys, just like that. I'm going to rotate it like this and go to W and then just move it up like that. Now if we just lower this a little like that, uh, I can click on the left hand goal settings and set this pull chain alpha to zero. And, and this is going to lower the impact of uh, moving this arm uh, on the rest of the body. We also want to set the clavicle rotation stiffness to one. And on the lower arm settings, we want to go down here, enable preferred angles. And we want to set the angle to be 90 on the X axis. Now this is, this character is from Blender rigged with uh, Rigify and exported with UEFI 2.5. So if you have a character like that with Blender based roles, you're going to put your 90 in the X. Uh, on the x-axis, but if it was the original Unreal Engine mannequin skeleton or it was a skeleton from the marketplace, if you bought a uh, marketplace animation packs, which we will see again later in this video, uh, you will put this 90 not on the x, but on the on the z-axis like that. So obviously, it doesn't work here because the bone rolls are different. So again, zero here and 90 over there. Okay, so the same thing will repeat itself on the right side. So again, clavicle, uh, clavicle settings, in fact, rotation stiffness to one. In the lower arm, we want to e uh, enable preferred angles and again, 90 on the x-axis. And uh, we can move down to the thigh, thigh settings. Uh, this is going to be preferred angles, minus 90 on the x. And if this, if this was the original mannequin or uh, something with Unreal Engine based joint rolls that you can also export from UEFI, this minus 90 was going to be, is going to be like, like this on the Z axis and you'll just have zero here, but this won't work with this character. So again, zero on, on let me just reset this and put nine, minus 90 over there. And on the calf, you're going to have uh, plus 90 again, for the Unreal Engine original roles, this 90 would go over there. So same thing on the right side for this thing, you're going to have minus 90 here. And on the calf settings, again, you're going to have positive 90 on the X axis. Now, I believe we missed updating the right hand goal. So the right hand goal settings, pull chain alpha is going to be zero and you can always move these goals around and make sure that your rig is performing the way you want it to. Now we can also add some settings to the spine. So I'm just going to highlight this full body IK solver, 
right click on pelvis and add settings to this pelvis bone as well and we can add some rotation stiffness to it and similarly for all of these spine bones i'm just going to match it to what it is like in the uh, original mannequin skeleton in unreal engine 5 so it's around 0.9 for the manny skeleton so i'm just going to set this to 0.9 but uh, you need to really update this based on the characteristics of your character. Now I can reset this character, save this rig, and just close this. For retargeting to work, we need an IK rig for both the source and the target character. So we have our target IK rig here, but we now need another IK rig for the source character. So if we look at this animation pack that I purchased from the marketplace, I'm going to find the skeleton on which these animations have been altered. So it is going to be a skeleton that comes with the pack itself. So I'm just going to find it. It'll be this one. And for this skeleton, I have made yet another IK rig. And if you open this, you'll see it's exactly the same thing. Now, while it may seem like a lot of work, the fact is that this was set up in just barely two minutes. In fact, I spent yet another two minutes and built yet another IK rig for an entirely different uh, animation pack that I also got from the from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So setting this up uh, is, is much easier than what it might seem like at first. There is one thing you do need to be careful about. If we look over here uh, when we're making chains, for example, in this leg chain, if I had just selected uh, from tie to ball, I would be selecting this calf bone, calf twist bone, right in the middle when it shouldn't be because it's parallel to the foot bone but we want only parent and child relationships in the chains that we select if i just do this right click on this and do new target chain this is going to create two chains instead of one and then they will be uh, misnamed and won't align with the other ik rig and it'll cause a problem so make sure that you select only the ch only the actual bones that you want to be in that chain so this would be one chain i would make it like that and then the, and the calf twist is going to be a new chain with a single bone on its own and then the thigh twist can be a new chain on its own otherwise making this is exactly the same as that we just did for the unreal engine 5 mannequin the only other difference is that this uh, some of the chains may be smaller for example spine has only three bones and the neck and head have only two bones there are also no metacarpal bones and i'm just scrolling this list so you can see what all the chains are and again i have ignored uh these ik root and ik handgun bones etc because i didn't really use them you can create chains for them if you want as well otherwise it's the same thing as before and you should have no problem making one of these with the rigs finally set up all we now need is an ik retargeter object which we will look at in the next video please like and subscribe it really helps a lot and thank you for watching